the other highlight of my year which i was so stoked about was going to comic con i was really excited like to go because obviously you've seen it like in america and only recently i think like six years back started in South africa and we've just never ever had the time to go to the previous ones and obviously it didn't happen during covid and so we got tickets and we ended up going kind of spontaneously. My sister just like was like, let's go to Comic-Con. And then my dad and I were like, okay. My mom's not really into that stuff. So it was just me, my sister and my dad that went out for the day. And I think it was so worth it. Like if there's a Comic-Con this year, I highly recommend you to buy your tickets. It's definitely something I think everyone wants to experience, whether you love, like you're a, you know, a Marvel DC like fanatic or you're someone like me that just enjoys you know watching it from time to time and so we actually got to see jamie campbell bauer who is the guy that plays vecna we also got to go to the conference of ross butler who plays zach in 13 reasons why and is also i can't remember the name but he's also in shazam and so we went to those two seminar or conferences and we were really lucky because my sister and i are so short and small we were able to squeeze our way to the front and we like had front row seats and my sister even got to ask Ross Butler a question, which was really, really cool. And then I also got this little guy. I'm obsessed with Stitch, if you didn't know. So I got like this cute little teddy bear. And there was 101 stalls to like choose from in each section that there was. And everyone was dressed up. My sister went as some anime or manga character i'm honestly not sure please don't come for me i'm really bad when it comes to like that stuff and then i went as wednesday adams before the series came out and became such a huge thing i've always been a fan of the adams family from the time i was young and so that was so much of fun and it was something so different as i said i've never been to comic-con but i definitely want to go this year again a lot of people that aren't hindu do not know about another festival called navaratri and Navaratri is one of my favorite holidays or um, religious festivals to participate in. Besides, obviously, all the religious importance it holds, basically Navaratri is celebrating female divinity and the different goddesses we have in Hinduism. So it's nine days of celebrating three goddesses and their different forms that they take. But how it is celebrated is Garba. And Garba is basically a traditionally a folk dance that is done where people go in concentric circles and you like basically dance in like around yourself as well as like going in concentric circles around a a little stage or a little podium where there is the idol of the deity that you're busy worshiping for the for the day or for the three days or whatever and where people go and put their offerings um towards and then there's usually a live musician and there's also um an enormous amount of food and you get dressed up and it is so much of fun like it's my dream to live in india for one year because i want to experience all of the different like religious festivals in the true and authentic style so things like holi Diwali, Navaratri, Ganesha, Chaturthi, all of those things because it's obviously if it's done big here in South Africa, you can just imagine how huge it is done in India where a majority of the people are Hindu. Soon after, so Navaratri actually precedes Diwali um, and leads up to it. And so for Diwali, we actually, I actually handed in my dissertation that morning, I think, if I'm not mistaken because that's the type of committed student I am. <laughs> because um, we'd experienced losses in the family, we decided to not really celebrate it on a large scale like we did in the previous years. And so we just ended up having family and family friends over. I think like there was only 10 or 11 of us. And we lit our lamps and we I think we ended up watching a Bollywood movie in the evening. At the end of that week, so I handed in my dissertation, I think a little bit earlier, like, than other people i can't actually remember because i feel like it was so long ago but at the end of like the due date we had a braai like with our other students and supervisors from our school or our faculty everyone just got you know talking about what their plans are for 2023 um how did their dissertation goes and also just catching up with one another because i think all of us were trying to get our dissertations done and obviously give it our best so we hadn't seen each other like in a long time at the beginning of november after the and stuff had finished um, it was actually my mom's birthday we took her out for like cocktails 
and we also went out for like pizza and pasta the next day is actually my aunt's birthday and so we ended up going to the Val for her birthday we went um on a boat cruise which i thought i was not going to enjoy because i get casted very easily but i was still excited to go because i don't think i'd ever been like to the Val side or even seen the Val dam i know it's atrocious i live in like johannesburg how could i not do that but I never ever got the chance to. And then towards the end of November, two important things happen. At the end of every single year, my dance school actually puts on an end of year function and or a huge concert. So our concert is actually happening this year at the end of September. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you're looking to maybe attend our concert or if you want to help us with the fundraising. You'll see I'm putting up stories to help us with the fundraising for that. Um, we like selling raffle tickets and I think we're also having a high tea. I have all the details that will be um, on my story and I might actually put them up here. You can DM me on Instagram if you are interested in bu buying a raffle ticket or attending the high tea lunch to help us put on this production. My sister actually graduated from EHV, so if you're new, I'll explain it again, or maybe you've forgotten. My family and I belong to the Sathya Sai um, organization, which is basically an organization that is based on practicing and learning about different religions and the five human values, which is love, truth, peace, right, conduct, and non-violence. Most of the kids that belong to this organization have to go through a course called EHV or Education and Human Values, which is previously known as Balvikas. And both me and my sister started at a very young age and we both completed it. I graduated in 2018 and my sister graduated at the end of last year with all of, with I think there was three other people that graduated along with her. And my dog, Cody, who is the love of my life, and is my baby turned 13 years old so we always get him a few gifts and things like that for his birthday and so we ended up celebrating with like this huge like box of like baked dog biscuits and we gave him his presents and obviously he wasn't interested in like the toys we got him he just he went straight for his snacks highlight of the year was also my sister designing the artwork for the front of the christmas edition of the brand Biosense along with some of her other friends from um, school. Basically it was sold nationally at different hair salons and stuff. December was in full swing. I had finished like with university at this time so everything was about Christmas. We went to a Christmas market, we went to the Christmas lights at um, Melrose Arch and we also decorated our house. And then I also got together with my dance friends because we never ever see each other outside of class. Like maybe at university if some of us are studying together we'll see each other. But we all got together to go to lunch because we were like, we cannot know each other for this long and have not, you know, gone out with one another. And then, of course, um, towards the, just before Christmas, we had the World Cup final. I think, like, actually we booked the, like, seats to watch the final at a restaurant in Monte Casino when the world cup started just because we knew how packed it was get it would get and we were thankfully right like there was people that stood through the entire game i don't know how people stood for almost two hours half of the table was wanting france to win and the other half were wanting argentina to win so there was so much of drama so it was really really funny then you may have noticed maybe you haven't especially if you are new but my hair is obviously short it actually looks longer in the video but i don't know why it looks so long but i actually cut off like two thirds of my hair and i have like a transition video here so that you can see how short i went from how long it was before that and i actually love cutting my hair after i've finished something and so at the end of my trick i had cut my hair also my hair was like i think below my by my thigh area and i cut it like here by my ear because i always wanted to try short hair and then again this time my hair was also like by my thigh area and i chopped it all here like it's like here in line with like with my armpit and then on a christmas eve we got a couple of our family members um together 
to go and see my uncle and basically spend Christmas Eve with him since we were going to be spending Christmas with family that were down from the UK and um, Amsterdam. And so we spent the whole afternoon with him and we like ordered chicken biryani and um, we just like caught up with him and things like that. So that was like a really nice way to spend Christmas Eve as well. Christmas Day we went to, so my mom's second cousin's house it was like i think easily nearly 80 of us at like their house for christmas because everyone wanted to see them and obviously christmas was the best time to get everyone together and we had a fat dinner or lunch slash both and we all just got together and played games obviously everyone always feels like in such a weird place in the days between christmas and new year but this festive period we decided to make the most of it and to visit and get together with as many people as we could because obviously the festive period is when everyone is off and everyone's in the mood one of the things that we did is my friend from primary school who currently lives in the uk her family came down and we went to a restaurant we caught up with them but what was also super cool is that we got to see a peacock like it came up to us and was like looking at us like I'm, i don't know maybe it's just like a spiritual thing i feel like when animals really look into your eyes they're like trying to communicate something with you and i felt so calm after this peacock like was by me and it even like when we were walking away from it it like followed us it was so beautiful i think we stood there for like 15 minutes like just watching it and then for new year's we went back to the same cousins we spent christmas with and we all like just got together and we took so many pictures because it was load shedding and so we had like our own photo shoot moment and then we also did karaoke which was pretty pretty fun my sister and i love karaoke even if we stink at it uh it's so much of fun to like sing your favorite songs and get people to participate with you and we had amazing food as per usual 2022 was definitely an eventful year Obviously, there were some downsides, but I don't think anyone's years are ever, ever perfect. There's always going to be things that are sad and that get you down. But I think it's also important to account for the different um, lessons you've learned, but also the amazing memories that you've had, because not every single day is obviously bad. I just hope that you guys um, enjoyed this video and seeing what I got up to while I was AMI. What is it? MIA <laughs> from YouTube and I just hope that I know it's nearly the end of January but you know what you're allowed to say happy new year and wish people the best until the end of January so I hope that you guys have a year filled with a lot of stress-free moments a lot of memories and that your year is filled with a lot of prosperity and gratitude thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed definitely do because even though I miss out on uploading as much as I would have last year I have a lot more free time on my hands so you can definitely expect a lot more exciting content to come and yeah thank you so much for also sticking with me through last year's you know turbulent upload schedule to say the least I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and year ahead filled with a lot of love happiness light and positivity love you guys Bye.